Recently, art students entered the annual Scholastic Art Show competition. This year's competition had nearly 6,000 individual entries, and more than 239 Novi senior portfolios were entered in 16 categories. The Novi Art Department had a total of 52 student artworks placed nationally. Scholastics was started over 50 years ago, and it was a way to help promote the arts in the United States. And it started off small, and it's just become huge because so many of our students who are in art do not have a forum to show their skills. And this is a way for students to compete against each other regionally and across the United States in many different arenas. This year we had the highest number of students we've ever had uh, win in the Scholastics competition. This is just prior to becoming a professional artist when you get to this level. This is a way for students to really show off and show their talents and Novi High School has an amazing group of visual art students. Mm -hmm. uh, the three of us, Miss Edmonds, Miss Harbar and I are so proud of of all of them. Many students walked away with a gold key, silver key, or honorable mention. The artwork will be on display at the Walter B. Ford Building on the College for Creative Studies Ford campus until March 4th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, my inspiration behind my jewelry piece is that I wanted to make something that looked um, really rustic and that looked cool and it was something that I could wear. I had never entered a contest before for jewelry and the fact that I um, got a gold key, which is the highest award you can get the first time, was really cool. This was the first colored pencil piece I did and I actually just wanted to try it out. So uh, I really like color and I wanted, since it was my first one, I wanted to experiment with color and I wanted to do something that was realistic but it also would look kind of fantasy-like. So I, I picked this colorful mushroom that was on this colorful log with a colorful background, and then I did it in colored pencil, and it ended up going pretty well. It felt pretty good. It was, it was unexpected because so many kids submit art pieces across Michigan, and then I ended up winning best in the drawing category, so I was like, oh, that's, I'm, <laughs> go me. <laughs> For the Cat's Eye News, I'm Ben Stoutler.